So uh, here's a very quick look at the Bastion bolt action pen. Uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick up close. Uh, there's actually four different metal options you can go for. Um, and I actually went for the copper, uh, which I think you'll agree is pretty spectacular in how it looks. Um, you also have an option to have this in stainless steel. Uh, they do this in titanium as well. Um, and they also have a brass version. Um, one of the things I particularly like actually about the copper version and the brass is that um, unlike most companies, they don't actually put a lacquer on the metal itself. They've obviously given it a fantastic brushed finish, but over time you've got the choice to either give it a quick polish with Brasso and a quick clean to keep it shiny, or you can let the patina just gently start to appear. And anyone that's seen old copper um, knows that over time it darkens and has lots of mystical kind of swirls and hues and colors on it that are caused by the oil and the um, uh, moisture from your hands as you write with it. Um, you only have to think about the Statue of Liberty uh, and the colors she's changed to over, over time. Um, this is the first thing that will strike you when you uh, hold on to this pen is just how heavy it is. It is uh, very, very hefty in the hand, which I always kind of associate with something that's high quality. You can see at this end, this is the easy to use bolt action. So you simply do that to deploy the, the nib itself. Uh, and there's a pretty sturdy pocket clip on here as well. To show you how good the machining is, I'll just give it a twist. You can actually see where the cartridge changes here, but it's just machined so beautifully that when you do it up, it's actually difficult to tell uh, where the seam is. Um, so that's really quite spectacular. Um, it's uh, really, really well made. Um, <clears throat> they talk about it being an everyday carry pen uh, because it's a pen, but also because it's so sturdy, heavy, you can also use this from a self-defense point of view or to break glass in an emergency and that kind of thing. Um, final thing to note is that uh, the ink uh, refills are less than five bucks as well so you're not going to get stung once you've bought this so all in all this is a lovely pen to carry with you every day personally i prefer the copper one i think it's the nicest most striking one that they do um, but you've got four different metal options it's a great little everyday carry pen with a couple of extra functions if you want it in that it's sturdy so you can break glass with it or use it as a self-defense thing if you wanted to if that's you're that kind of person um, i also think this is kind of nice enough that it's nice to be given as a kind of gift as well um, so yeah, that gives you uh, a pretty close look. Uh, I put a link in the description on the video below uh, and if you can like and subscribe my videos it's super helpful when I review stuff as well. I'll put a link in the description to a full written review as well and I'll put a link to the lowest online price. Uh, but there you go, quick look at the Bastion Bolt Action Pen.